So there was just this crazy leak and rumor that just came out. And it's not even a leak or rumor. It's actually an issue that came out with iOS 17.5. And I do think this is probably going to be one of the craziest things and one of the craziest, I guess, leaks. And this is one of the craziest, I think, issues that Apple's really going to have to kind of, I guess, make a statement for and kind of fix. That's such a widespread skill. And it's one of the weirdest things. I don't even understand it. So basically what happened, for those of you who don't know, Apple, as we all know, they make a lot of iPhones. They make a lot of things. We all know this by now. But the problem that Apple just ended up having was that in iOS 17.5, if you deleted a photo from years ago, 10, 15 years ago, that was stored, I guess, in your iCloud account, or even if it wasn't stored on your iCloud account, if it was stored on your iPhone and you deleted it, some of those photos are actually starting to kind of be resurfaced inside of your particular iPhone. So this in and of itself was a very, very crazy thing because if you were somebody who had an iPhone, just like myself, I deleted a photo from a couple years ago and even let's say it's within like SNFW type of, you know, photos that maybe some people were taking. Well, if you deleted those photos and then you log back, then you check back in your photos and you see that same photo again, that is actually a pretty crazy thing, right? But it doesn't stop there. I've been seeing some Reddit posts, and I think there's probably going to be even more posts after making this video of some people stating that they sold an iPhone or sold an iPad that was factory reset. And some of those people, you know, basically the people who they sold those particular iPhones and iPads to, after updating to iOS 17.5, their photos are also starting to show on their particular iPad that they sold, resold. I saw this on Reddit. So take this with a grain of salt. But that is still pretty crazy. And there are probably going to be other reports kind of coming from this particular thing too. This is without a doubt one of the craziest things that I've seen so far. Now, some people stated like, you know, there's an update to this particular Reddit post I saw yesterday. It looks like people are doubling down and there's still some really big concerns on what's going to end up happening here. Now, this is just, it's an ongoing basis. It's still ongoing. We don't know exactly what's going to end up happening, what Apple's response is going to be, but this is a widespread issue. So I have no idea what's going to end up happening, but if you own an iPhone 10, are 11, 12, iPhone 13, iPhone 14, or iPhone 15, you could potentially, you know, see Apple make a statement for your particular iPhone because those are the particular iPhones that are still supported on iOS 17 and going into 17.5. I don't know if this is going to affect iOS 18, if Apple's going to have to roll over some of these older iPhones onto iOS 18. I guess we're going to see what ends up happening. But this is a pretty crazy thing what's going on right now. So in my personal opinion, I think this is crazy. Apple needs to make a statement on this and really kind of, you know, showcase that they're going to put a fix to this because it is a pretty crazy thing that just ended up happening. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.